What's up guys, my lady HPD here, and today we're back on the main account. I have not only not done a video on this account in a while, I have not played this account in a while because I put up a one-day shield this morning thinking I wasn't going to record until tomorrow, but we're recording right now, and we're at 5,073 trophies, and as you could probably already see, we have 10 million gold, 5.7 million elixir, and 198,000 dark elixir with two builders up, and one more coming tomorrow, which is phenomenal. So this video, we have a couple of fun stuff planned. Obviously, we've got the balloon zoom event happening right now, which basically gives you discounted balloons and haste spells, and I think if you do, what, one battle with 10 balloons, you get 100 XP and 100 gems, which is pretty cool. 100 gems is nice and also we'll be spending our 10 million gold probably on an air defense I again I would do the clan castle we're gonna do the clan castle eventually I promise but right now we're doing uh, air defenses because we only have two more left and we actually did have we do have our first ever level 9 maxed out air defense in our base which is super exciting that thing looks freaking beast and uh, once I eventually get uh, actually strategic I literally I will go on defense in Legends League with this base and you can see uh, I get a lot of one stars and two stars a couple three stars here and there But this base kind of actually holds up so I'm gonna rearrange this one day and make this an actual real good base uh, With this layout and uh, we're gonna do that after I max out all of my defenses Which are pretty close to doing we also have all level 10 maxed out wizard towers our wizard towers did finish So those are all 100% done and we've got our last two mortars going and then we're gonna get one more air defense going right now We're gonna have one more air defense. That's gonna be an 8.8 .8 mil wait, you know hold on first I just want to see this maxed out. We're gonna collect our treasury in three two one bam bam And if you collect your treasury by the way I got some comments on the last video. I know my gold and elixir is full or gold and dark elixir is full But if you go in your treasury, it stays in your treasury. It doesn't uh, it doesn't just waste that loot So that's still in the treasury. Okay Now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna upgrade our air defense level 8 over to level 9 This will be the third out of four level 9 air defenses And then after this we have one more to do when we are completely done with the defenses in our base Oh, actually, you know what minus Tesla's we still have I think two Tesla's three Tesla's two Tesla's two Tesla's two more Tesla's and two more air defenses And we are done once again on the main base and we're gonna upgrade this. Bam! There we go. Going down. That's 8.8 million with a 12-day upgrade right there. We're not gonna gem that because there's really no need. But that is phenomenal. There goes all of our gold. And actually, we have some more in here. We'll collect in a second. And then now with the 200,000 dark elixir, we'll be going at our queen once again, and getting her to level 43, moving her closer, just much closer, over to level 45, which will be our first ever actually maxed out hero. I guess between the king and the queen, it's not our first max out hero, but we do not have any level 45 heroes, and uh, I would love to get that next queen's ability because the queen is a beast, and look, look how fine she looks right now, Rhea. She's an absolute tank right now, her AI is still a little bit iffy, but I would love to get her ability over to level 9, that would be sick, so let's upgrade her down to level 43 in 3, 2, 1, bah, there we go, she is down, we're gonna have to finish her off because we do need her, oh, let me collect this first, we do need her for the rest of the raids today, uh, just because up in Legends League, you I can attack without a queen. It probably won't go too well, so we're not going to try that. Oh, also, today we're going to be training up all balloons, like an all 100% balloon army, along with haste spells. And we're going to go out in the Legends League and attack with that, which is going to be a very, very scary attack to do. Because I don't want to lose any raids right now, and we might lose that one. But whatever. So, queen, let's get her over level 43 in 3, 2, 1. Yes! Woo! We got a level 43 queen in the base, which is awesome. The next upgrade to level 45 is going to cost a whopping 196,000 Dark Elixir, so we won't be doing that for a while, but that's A-OK -okay because we're going to keep these upgrades pumping in green. <laughs> yes, over to level 43. I cannot wait to get her to 45. I really want to see her new ability. Well, not new ability, but next level ability. I want the power of the little 45 queen. Okay, so now we got that done. I don't know what that accent was. Now it's time to go and do some attacks. Oh, and also we have two days, three days left on our uh, free spill over to Max, which I'm very excited for because we also really, really need that. And we've got 7.3 three million elixir we've got nothing to do with it let's come in here and get some walls going we'll get uh we'll get two walls down so that's two more walls over to level 10 uh we actually have what like four one two five more right here in this row and then the top of our base and then we are done with the walls over to level 10 we have a long way to go but we're definitely getting there okay let me boost everything up and uh let's start this attack session because i'm actually pretty excited again i haven't attacked when was the last time i attacked i haven't done an attack in Two days in four hours, and the last one was a 49% one star, which I was very pissed off about because it was against the Legend League for 30 cups. That was an annoying raid. So right now, let's go out, get some battles in, and uh, we need to come back and... Oh, actually, you know what? Let me train up my old balloon army. Balloons right now are 500 elixir apiece to train up, which is just nuts. I'm not going to have fun with this next attack, and we're going to do all haste spells. 11 haste spells, 48 balloons. And uh, we are, oh, that's going to go horribly, but I'm ready. So let's go out and get one Legends League attack with our normal army. And then we'll come back and use the, uh, what is this, the balloon zipper, the balloon zoom event <laughs> attack strategy. So let's, let's do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we've got a whale right here. 34 minus 16 legendary guy. And then now we're going to, oh, I'm going to center myself. Okay, now we're going to attempt, we got to get the two star in here, obviously. 
and I'm not really sure how to. So he's got the air sweepers and the air defenses. Air defenses are all on the top here, and the air sweepers are all pointing up. And I'm saying if we go from the bottom of this base, there's really no way we don't get the two. I mean, we definitely can not get the two star, and it's probably going to happen. But we're going to attempt and see what happens. He has no air bombs at the bottom of the base, so we are for sure just going to go in like this. Watch, ready? We're going to spread these balloons, big spread like that. We're going to get some uh, hounds in right there. And then let's get some minions going in as well. We'll get the Grand Warden. Now, this is going to be tough because the balloons are going to swing both left and right. So getting them towards that center compartment is going to be a little tricky. Look at the free spells going down right now. We'll get the raid spells going in the middle right there. Actually, you know what? This is looking pretty good. I've got a lot of faith in this raid. And these balloons, oh, they kind of didn't. They didn't really split up, though. That's only, that's that's going to create issues. Okay, well, Warden Special Ability going to be used right there. We should be able to clear out a couple of buildings out of that compartment. A couple of defenses. And then, actually, that Town Hall is kind of going down. Those minions are going ham. Oh! Oh, we got close. Okay, that was that was very, very close. So now we're at 42%. I'm going to wait for these minions to do as much damage as they can to these two gold storages because our king we can actually send right down the middle. And actually, we can lure out whatever's in here with the... Uh, Nice. I wish I had some leftover minions. Oh my gosh, we got all those traps out too. That was beautiful. Okay, watch this. Ready? We're going to put down an archer. We're going to throw down the poison spell. And then we're going to keep using these archers to uh, to lure the balloons and whatnot over here. Yeah, that's going to kill these balloons. These balloons are going down. I'm yelling timber. That is an old joke. I need to stop using it. Okay, these balloons for sure will die right there. Dope. Now I'm going to send the king in over here. I'll drop the queen actually right behind him because we're at 43%. So we definitely will be getting that... Uh, that two star right there that should be easy money because oh wall breakers okay we got through a little bit right there we'll use the king special ability who is actually going to target the queen and is probably going to die never mind maybe this won't be an easy uh easy two star i'll use the uh, earthquake spell and then hopefully our queen can oh gosh she's getting smacked up we're definitely gonna get the one star that's okay we're gonna only get the one star damn oh my gosh well there's a 47 percent one star Oh, God, I'm really, really bad at one live attacking now for some reason. Even on the builder's base, I suck at it. Oh, God, well, there's that. And if we come back here, you can see that we do have... I'm actually going to get a uh, Lava Hound in here. We do have 48 balloons and 11 <laughs> haste spells. And that is what we're going to use on our next attack. We did win, though. Obviously, we did uh, get the get the dub there. So we're not 5,084, moving our way towards that 5,100 mark, which is going to be awesome to hit. And now that the Clan Castle is full, I think I'm going to train back up. Uh, our normal army and we're gonna push with that because we do have loons in it We don't have a haste spell, but we're definitely gonna be using this attack strategy right now Actually, let me see if we have a challenge base. All right, here we go. We got a fun challenge here against shadow and it is uh, attack from the American flag. So we're going to bring this, swing all the balloons all the way around here, through the air sweepers, around the bend, and then into here. This is actually going to be very, very tricky. Okay, attack from the flag. Here we go. All of the balloons going in right there, and then the Grand Warden right behind. <laughs> this should be fun. Okay, we've got so many balloons, and then the Grand Warden right there. And actually, let's throw in the Lava Hound as well. Lava Hound, I should have used differently okay that that didn't go the way that i wanted it to well we've got the balloons in now i'm gonna drop one oh my gosh i'm gonna drop one hay spell right here okay grand warden you gotta you gotta calm down dude you gotta get back this isn't <laughs> this isn't working oh no the balloons are being pushed over here why are we going this way okay well we got balloons going towards uh, i don't know this this can't be considered cheating because i this was not this literally the base did it to itself and uh, now let me use the Warden special ability. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to spam in the hay spells right now. We're going to move through this base as quickly as humanly possible. Wow. We literally are just going through this insanely fast. Oh my. I can't even stack these quick enough. Okay. Wow. Now all the balloons are coming this way. They're like, hey, we're coming up to you, air defenses. We're definitely going to three-star this base. That is for sure going to happen. Actually, I don't know what this queen. That's going to be kind of tough. Uh, well, American flag, right? So king and queen in right there. We have cleared out every single defense in this base with the balloon hay spell. That went extremely successfully. Wow, okay. Dope. Well, there was that. Uh, that was a great attack. Now we just kind of have to beat the uh, the enemy king and queen, which we should easily be able to do with our king and queen. And they're going to actually go through this wall compartment. And here comes the balloons. We got all the balloons coming in. We got the king and queen stuck on this wall because they are silly geese. And then, uh, you know what? I will use our special abilities because we really don't, thinking about it, really do not need the abilities against this base because we're not, like, dodging any defenses or anything. So... King and Queen's ability, they're going to move in towards the center here. Oh, he does have balloons in the clan castle, though. That'll be fun. Oh, God, enemy King <laughs> enemy king just got smacked up there by the balloons. Well, uh, our King and the Barbs are going to come over here and just completely maul the Queen. And the balloons, though, might even kill our Queen. King, they're going to kill our King. Oh, God, okay. Rest in peace, our Barbarian King. But this is pretty much just easy cleanup for the rest of this raid. So that was a enormously successful attack. I will take that. So that was our little challenge attack with the all-balloon haste spell. And then uh, now we're going to go out and attempt to attack in the Legends League, which is going to be very scary. Uh, well, we'll see. You know, I got faith. If we, 
I mean, if we get a one star with a full army, with a real army, I doubt we're going to get too far with a pretend for fun army, but we're going to have to see how that goes. So 99% and there is the 100. Nice. We three starred Shadow right here. So GG Shadow, thank you for sharing that base. That was a fun one. The American flag swing around the around town base. And then now we're going to go back out and see if we can find another Legends League player and attack them with 48 balloons and 11 A <laughs> spells. Let's try this out. Okay, here we go. We got Wiz right here, Exotic 7. Uh, and he is a Town Hall 9 right now. So this is going to be a pretty fun one with the 48 balloons against this guy. Let me see where his air sweep, air sweep, one air sweeper's down. We're just going to attack from the top of the base. I'm just going to spam balloons in and see how this goes. We'll get our one Lava Hound in and then all 48 balloons just in a fat wave at the top of the base. Look at that. <laughs> that looks insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now the hay spells are, oh gosh, I'm hitting the king. Here we go. Okay, now the hay spell is going to go in. I put them way behind where they should have been. Well, let's spam the rest of them in the middle right here. And uh, see how we do. Oh my gosh. The base is just haste spell filled right now. And uh, we're going to have to we'll use the Warden's ability in a couple cells. I'll use it right now. And uh, it's not really going to matter though because we literally have cleaned up this entire base in seconds. Okay, so let's use the King and Queen's ability because we need, we need to have something clean this base up. Because all the defenses are done. Unfortunately though, our Grand Warden right here is probably going to get killed by this Archer. Unless, unless though... No, no, the balloons are going for the Archer Queen. Uh-oh. You better watch out. You better watch out. They're coming for you. Okay, balloons going in on the uh, the king right there. He's dead. And then now locking onto the Town Hall. That's going to go down in a second. And then the level 10 Archer Queen right now is going to get murked by these balloons. Oh, God. Oh, gee. she got destroyed. Okay, so now we got the king on the left, queen on the right. We got the ward and the balloons right down the middle right here. So it's going to be a no problem three star for us against this Town Hall 9. Which is awesome. Almost lost my life right there. And remember our 10 trophy rule. As long as we get 10 trophies for the win, uh, when trophy pushing, that is a that is a great win right there. So this is going to be 10 trophies for the three star. So I'll take that as a win. Or typically I go for like anything 15 trophies above. I'll attack because I can usually two star when I don't fail. But I've been failing quite a bit lately on both accounts. But uh, we got the 99%. There's the 100 right there with the king. Boom! 100% three star on the Town Hall 9 with the all balloon hay spell attack strategy right there. We're actually going to train that back up. Unfortunately, I do have this attack strategy, so I'm going to use this one off camera. And then we're going to come in here and quick train uh, the 40 balloon 11 <laughs> hay spells. And we're going to attempt this against the Legends Lager if we can find him. So I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, here we go. We got Chris right here, a 30 minus 19. Legends League player. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Okay, so we've got all balloons to go in on this base and uh, This is a pretty decent base. I think I'm gonna go from the right side. Oh my gosh Which I don't know which side is to go from we're gonna attack this kind of weird We're gonna attack from like this area top the top area. Okay, let's see. Let's get oh just a wall of balloons in Let's get the lava hound going in right there and uh, let's see what we can do with these 48 freaking balloons. Okay, let me get these haste spells in really, really quickly just because we've got so many of them. We really do not have to use them sparingly. And uh, we could move in as fast as we can to this base. I was like getting the, the free spell ready to go launch. And I remembered I didn't have a free spell. Okay, so let's see. We got the haste spells going. Doing pretty good right now. Definitely not doing terrible. We still have three haste spells left. Uh, we use one more right there. And actually, you know what? Honestly, for having just all balloons and some haste spells, we're definitely like mauling this base for the strategy that we're using. So I think right there is where that's going to end and we're not going to use any more haste spells. We're going to use the haste spells for the heroes because the toughest part about this attack is going to be getting this two star. Uh, and that is literally 100 per Oh no, these guys are going to ruin this raid. Do the pups, the lava pups were going to actually take like a lot of this percentage out. I was really hoping that would happen. Um, wow, this is going to be true. You know what? Wait, what am I thinking about uh, two stars for? We can definitely get the three star here. Watch this. We're going to use the uh, we're gonna go right here. All right, we're gonna throw in the Barbarian King right there. Oh, we only have 43 seconds left. Oh, gosh. Okay, King's gonna go in right there. We gotta use the ability. I'm gonna wait for a second. I'm gonna drop the Queen as well, and then we'll probably use her ability pretty quickly here, too, because we need to get through all of these buildings and then get, uh, manage, somehow manage to get the three-star on this base. So let me use, oh, 20 seconds. This is not gonna happen. So we're definitely not even gonna get the two-star on this, which is just really unfortunate and unlucky, but that's kind of how this goes. I'm gonna drop a, maybe on the off chance. Oh, I was really hoping that for some reason the town hall would have just like have been destroyed right there. Well, 14 seconds, gonna only walk away here with the one-star. We definitely would've gotten the three if I would've attacked quicker. And obviously I started this raid just super late because I was eating and I had to run over here and connect my iPad and set up the record. So 59, 60% one-star with, although we could've three-starred this space if we would have attacked a little bit faster it's crazy we got through a ton of these defenses and that's 10 cuffs right there so that it wasn't bad and we got our star bonus right there i did actually lose an attack for 29 trophies so we are not going to be passing 
40. We're actually back to 5,075, exactly where we started today. So I guess that's like good and bad. Oh, whatever. GG to the balloons though right there. Let's request for some more troops. Gonna go out and do a lot more attacking right now. Actually, we are watching the Warriors game. Uh, possibly sweeping the Cavs. They are losing right now at halftime, though. So that's, yeah. I'm a Warriors fan, though. Let me know in the comments right now. Who do you root for, the Warriors or the Cavs? I don't know if this game, the series might be over by the time this video is uploaded, or it's going to be a 3-1. Uh, either way, Warriors are going to be up. Let me know in the comments, though. Speaking of the comments, common question of the day. And today's common question of the day comes from Gregory Braithwaite. That's a freaking cool ass name, my dude. When the new troops in Builders Halls come out, are you going to gem... Uh, also, I'm a max BH4, except troops. I'm struggling at 2300. What tips do you have? P.S. Keep up the work. Thank you, and yes, I definitely probably will be gemming. I don't know if I'm going to gem all the way to Builders Hall 8. I kind of, I, I really want to, but at the same time, I feel like that's just overkill. That's overdoing it, but I don't know, maybe, because I really, really want to show you guys what the life at Builders Hall 8 is like, what the troops are like. And uh, I might actually end up just speed gemming my way there and then slowly like upgrading my defenses, which is a horrible idea and it's going to cost a lot of money, but it's going to be up to you guys though. If you guys want to see me gem that new update, it's going to be sick. Uh, and I definitely, I cannot wait for Builders Hall 8. I cannot wait for the new troops and the new defenses. So it's probably going to happen. I'm probably going to gem my way pretty. I'll gem quickly through the Builders Halls. I won't do straight to Town Hall. I, I might go actually straight to BH8. Um, we'll have to see though, but I'm definitely going to gem quite a bit just because I, this is like, this base I want to gem because I want to be able to compete with like high level stuff and I won't be able to push. Uh, and you got to kind of gem to do that unfortunately because uh, you got to be maxed out. So I probably will be gemming. Not a lot of farming is going to happen on that base because farming is not as fun as, like farming on the main base is really fun because you can go out, you can find dead bases, you can do full attacks against them. That's a good time and it makes for good videos. Uh, but farming in the Builder's Hall base, definitely a lot slower. There's not a big, like, difference between farming and pushing in the Builder's base, and then, like, unlike the, uh, main base, where, you know, farming and pushing are two completely different things, and they're very, very easy to do if you split them up, or at the same time, and, well, probably just gem. Also, BH4 at 2300, for one, great job on 2300 at BH4, that's really solid, I uh, definitely... Was, I don't know how high I got at BH4, but I'm not sure if it was 2300. That's either way, that's good. So, with a max BH4 at uh, 2300 struggling around, it kind of depends on what bases you're seeing around you. Uh, if you're seeing bases that are very, very just easy to take out with the baby Ds, you know, send in the baby dragons, use the all baby dragon. I was about to say all baby dragon uh, battle machine army, and I forgot that that's at Builders Hall 5. Uh, I just make sure, definitely make sure you have a really, really good base because half of this game is the defense. If you are able to have a really, really good base that just stumps people, uh, it's gonna be pretty hard to lose on the offensive end if you get a decent amount of percentage now when attacking I definitely say prioritize the percentage because again if you have a really really good BH4 base and you can keep people away from your builders hall and maybe just have them snag that one star or a low percentage two star uh, or a low percentage one star you can definitely go on the offense get a lot of percentage maybe you could get the one star still get that win uh, but just as long as your attacks are really really smart so definitely don't just use all of one troops don't just use giants and then wall break and then archers, you know, definitely mix it up and have a good strategy uh, that, you know, actually probably at your level you might want to use giants. I'm, I'm thinking about it now because you don't have the battle machine. But obviously since I'm at BH5 and the strategies at, you know, where I'm at are a little bit different. Wow, we got a Legends League player right here. Okay, so we're going to attack this right now. <laughs> but uh, I would definitely say... Make sure your defense is solid, and then on offense, kind of tinker around with troops. Use what other people are using against you if it's working really, really well, and just see what you're comfortable with, and uh, I'm sure you can rock yourself up in cups. Now, we're going to rock ourselves up in cups right here because this is a 23 minus 24 offer. This is a great raid right here, and we're going to be attacking uh, this, this side. We're going to go in here, so let's see. How do we want to do this? I'm going to go in. We got a balloon right there. Or a balloon. We got... Oh my gosh, and these defenses are like totally just laid back waiting for us to kill them. This is perfect. Okay, here we go. Yeah, balloons in. Let's get the warden in right there. We're going to get the rage spells going right there along with our minions coming in behind. And we should be able to have a actually a really, really, really decent funnel. Funnel, not funnel. Funnel going in here. Unfortunately, though, uh, this one air defense is just rocking our balloons right now. So I'm going to have to... I don't know why I haven't dropped the rage spell yet. Dropping a rage spell, let's drop two freezes right there. That'll get those air defenses and going to get... Uh, the, whatchamacallit, this guy right here, which is called an Inferno Tower, if you didn't know, because apparently I didn't. We're going to use the Warden Special Ability right now. Move in towards the center right there. Unfortunately, the Air Sweeper is going to absolutely destroy our push and move these uh, balloons kind of up on the top of this base. But that might be good, too, because we can take out these defenses and create a better funnel towards the middle of this base because it's going to be, honestly, kind of hard to get to uh, with how it is right now. So I'm going to use these wall breakers. Hopefully they don't go towards this, like, weird little wall segment with actually every single 
almost every single wall level. That's actually really cool, dude. Whoever whoever has this base, whoever owns this, GG. That's kind of sick. So now we're going to lure out any traps there might be right here, which I hope there aren't. Looks like there's not. There, I guarantee there's a bomb right there. There has to be. Wow, or not. Okay, I'll take that. And did we lure out a clan castle? Yes, we did. Okay, so we got giants coming out, which definitely is like one of the easiest things we can deal with right now. And then now we've got a straight shot into that town hall compartment. Watch this. You know what? King, actually, king and queen should both go towards the giants and hopefully go into the base towards maybe the king or something. Please, for the love of God, swing to the middle of this base right now and take out whatever's in the center, including this town hall. Let's see it. Let's see it. Go towards the king next. Kill the king. Yes! Yes! Okay, awesome. They're gonna go into the middle of the base right there. We're gonna lure out a couple more giants. The queen is gonna run straight to the town hall. She's gonna lock onto that. We we'll use the king's special ability against the enemy king, which is a maxed out level 45. He has maxed out heroes. That's kind of scary. And then we're gonna knock down all the rest of the clan castle troops. We're gonna knock down the town hall right there. And then we are gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna save my king and queen's life uh, for a little bit. Yeah, right there. Gonna end battle at 58%. Got 15 cups. And actually, we'll show a little sneak peek. We return home right now. We're now at okay. We have oh completed the event. That's part of this video, right? Nice. We got 100 XP and 100 gems right there which is dope progress 10 out of 10 okay cool and we're now at 5178 cups so that is a great place to end the video so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like leave a comment down below your comment question of the day or anything else you want to comment leave your favorite attack strategy because mine is obviously lava loonian and i'll see you guys next video love you all peace out Pretty girls in class still They never reply But never say never They never get caught on my mind I'm trying to get better and grind Measure my effort and skill Gets better in time Fresher than ever And I am who I am No taking it back I'm alive and well